Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing a vlog and I have been recording little bits and pieces of things on various days for the last two weeks since the day that we moved out of our old house. Not enough to have a vlog all of its own. So I thought that I would just kind of lump things together in chronological order. Uh, leading up to this past week where I vlogged two days in a row. So I'm just going to kind of clump it all together because I've been so sporadic lately with my filming and I thought that would be a good way to share with you what's been happening without going into too much detail. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button of course and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button as well. Alright guys enjoy the vlog. Today is moving day, the day I wasn't sure was ever going to come. I have been anticipating it and dreading it all at the same time. Throughout the day, whenever I had a moment to myself, I would find myself reminiscing and truthfully had to fight off some tears a couple times. A lot of living has happened to this house. I vividly remember the day we moved in 18 years ago. It was Valentine's Day. We had two kids under the age of three and we were so excited to move into this quiet, beautiful neighborhood. Since that day, so many milestones have been met, memories made, and holidays celebrated. It was in this house that I found my footing as a mother. In this house, I watched my three girls grow from small children into amazingly talented and caring young adults. In this house, sadly, we had to say goodbye to three different fur babies who added so much love and laughter to our lives. Every room Every space in this house and its yard has a special memory attached to it. I am so thankful to this house. It embraced us, it protected us, and gave us a place to grow together and enjoy our lives and to be a family. It truly holds a special place in my heart which I am going to miss. And yet I can't help but be excited about the new house which we get to make a home. What awaits us? What milestones and achievements are we going to celebrate? What memories are we going to make? How are we going to change as individuals and as a family? The adventure, it seems, starts today. All right, so we are all moved in, and this is the state of just the garage. You guys, the house is even worse. Like, there's no space in the living room. It's just piled up with boxes and furniture. It's ridiculous. But... We shall start, one box at a time, making this house into a home. A couple of days after we moved in, my mom, my sister, and my niece came over to help me take control of my kitchen and my living room. With my kiddos helping out as well, we were able to move around furniture, unpack and remove boxes, plus organize the kitchen cabinets and the pantry. After a couple hours of work, we had a clutter-free, usable space, which gave me a shot of motivation to continue unpacking the rest of the house. Every day that I have some extra time, I pick one room and I start unloading boxes and trying to sort through things and put things away where they belong. And my goal is to finish that room within the day. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. And today, I am working in my office. It's only about 10 o'clock this morning, so I'm feeling very hopeful that I'll be able to get through this room, get everything unpacked, sorted through, and find a new place to store everything. So cross your fingers.
hope you're having a fabulous day. Today is actually Tuesday, and as you will have already seen, we are experiencing a little bit of rain this morning. Like crazy amounts of rain, which is really nice because we haven't had a whole lot of rain at all lately. Um, it hit about daybreak, and it rained for a long time, very hardly. Lots of wind, lightning, thunder. Um, it had been lightning and thunder for a couple hours before that because I was awake then as well. But... It is now 7.30 and I have just got back from the grocery store because my husband <laughs> informed me this morning that he had no creamer for his coffee, which is not a good way to start the day. So I decided I would be a good little wife and go out to the grocery store because the rain had let up to about a little sprinkle by then. So it sounds like it's a little bit picking up now, but I am home and safe and sound in my house. So I'm going to go ahead and unload these groceries and then... Maybe make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna have some eggs and a bagel this morning. That sounds delicious. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll get started working for the day. See you in a bit. So, <laughs> the day is going flying by. It's already like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I have been working on Joe's room. I have most of the stuff um, taken care of. I've unboxed all of her clothes, got those hung up, and then moved all of the boxes of like her art supplies and all of her knickknacks and that sort of stuff into the closet until we can get some shelving up and display space in here. Let me flip the camera around and I'll let you show, show you the room. All right, so we've got the computer. <laughs> Components are all put together. We just need to get the table in here. And then, of course, we've got the bed. The closets are in there. But what we would like to do is do some display um, shelves here for her artwork. I may have to build some new shelves for that. That goes into the bathroom. And then we'd like to get a shelf for this wall right here. Um... Hopefully, I need to measure that and write that down. 
But that is the goal. It, the room looks so much bigger now without all of the boxes in here. There's still the pile of bags. I'm not quite sure what she wants to do with those. Um, it's got a few things. I don't know where she wants to put them. So that will have to wait for now. But for the most part, the room is looking much, much, much better. And I'm pretty happy with that. So now I am going to go find a tape measure and try to measure that wall. Get that written down. And then I'm going to have some lunch. Then I'll work on some more stuff this afternoon. I thought I was going to go down for a nap around 11 o'clock. Since I've been up since about 3, that's just not happening. And I have yet to even like brush my hair or put on any makeup. So I guess that's just going to be the way it is today. I apologize that I'm so scary looking today. But <laughs> it's just going to have to be the way it is. Um, so today is the first day of college for my oldest two children. Um, Jasmine doesn't have any classes today, but Joe does. She has three classes today, and two of them, or three of them, are all via Zoom. So that's going on in the other room, which is going to be a weird thing. We're going to have to find a good place for her to, like, go and hide out in a corner of the house somewhere. We thought that the living room would be a good spot where she's kind of in that extra dining area, kind of where I have my hutch if you watch the home tour. Um, on most days, it would be okay. But for some reason, Zoe's up early today. JJ's in and out. Normally he goes down to his office and stays there pretty much the whole day. He's up and down and all over the place today. <laughs> Of course, but that's all right. So she gets done with her last class at about four or so. And then we have to go to the art supply store and get her some art supplies for school, which she's going to need here very quickly. So that is our afternoon plans that I didn't know was going to be our afternoon plans, but yet now it is. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead now and go take a little nap, get a little bit of food in me, take a nap until it's time to go take Joe to the art store. The rest, what I'm gonna do the rest of the day, I have no idea, <laughs> but we shall see. Talk to you later. All right, so there's the big bag of school supplies. My toolbox. And the toolbox, have to have the toolbox for all the art supplies. Very exciting, I already did that. Are you ready for school to start? Huh? You ready for school to start? One minute. One minute. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So it is the next morning already. I forgot to close out yesterday's vlog. So I guess you guys get an extra day. Yay. <laughs> so it is Wednesday morning. It's about 9.30. And I am grabbing my stuff. And I'm headed out the door to go do a Costco run. I haven't been to Costco in a really long time. So this will probably be a very big Costco haul. So I'll share that with you guys because I don't know that I've ever shared a Costco haul with you guys. But that should be fun. And then the rest of the day will probably just be unpacking stuff. So, kind of boring. Jasmine actually has her first class today for college. And it's in the evening and since we're kind of far away from, like she's not sure of the directions yet around the around the area I'm going to be going with her so she gets to where she wants to be because she drives but she doesn't drive very much and it requires going out of the freeway and then if she's by herself she has to follow Google Maps which when you're a new driver that's like really scary you know like trying to figure out where you're going at the same time of following you know what I mean a map quest thing, or a map so yeah I'm going to go with her so that should be fun sitting around for a couple hours well, she has her class, but there is a thrift store nearby, so I'm probably going to go to that. So, I don't know. We'll just kind of see where this day takes us, and I will keep you guys informed. All right, bye. So I am back from Costco, and I am overheated because I just carried everything in, so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I got real quickly. All right, so this is my haul. We'll start on this side. Bath tissue. Kirkland sparklings. These are like the ice sparklings. Really, really yummy. Pretty good price. They come up to like 60 cents, I think. Something like that. We got apple juice and Sunny D. We got popcorn. Kitchen bags. 
face wipes. These are my favorite face wipes. I love those. Flushable wipes for the toilet. Tortilla chips. Turkey breast three pack. Crustables for Zoe. And then they had these. I was super excited. Kirkland used to have, or Costco used to have the cleaning wipes in the Kirkland brand. This is a different brand. Nice and easy. Same type of packaging as the old ones. So we'll see how they work out. I'm hoping that they are going to be equivalent to the old ones that Costco used to sell because those were the best cleaning wipes I've ever used. And then we've got some croissants, a two-pack of cottage bread, some steaks, ribeyes for my husband, cold and flu. This is a knockoff of the Tylenol cold and flu, which is awesome stuff. Allergy medicine. Mozzarella cheese, two pack, butter, four pack. What is this? Romaine lettuce, four pack. Regular bacon, which has got four packs in it, and then already pre cooked bacon for those quick and easy mornings. And I've already showed you the steaks. And that is my Costco haul. Now I get to go put all this away. Yay! All right, the counter is cleaned off now. And let's see, it's one o'clock. I am going to go take myself a little baby nap before I have to take Joe to work at three o'clock. And then after that, then I get home from dropping her off at work. I'll get some work of my own done for today. <laughs> All right, check in with you later. Afternoon. It took an unexpected turn of events. Um, I spent a couple hours in urgent care with one of my kiddos. Um, everyone is fine. Nothing major, just minor but scary nonetheless. Um, but I won't go into a lot of detail um, for privacy reasons. But I will say that physical and mental health is no joke. If you have family members or friends that struggle with this issue, take it upon yourself to, you know, check in on the daily or every other day. It doesn't take long for things to pile up and then problems occur. I will say this as well, that if you have, are a parent of children in the range of middle school to early adulthood, those daily check-ins and those and monitoring makes a big difference in their well-being. So that being said, everyone's fine, everyone's cool. We just had a little slip up, and so we spent a couple hours in urgent care today. <laughs> so the afternoon was in the in the emergency or not emergency urgent care. Got home from that, had about ten minutes, and then I turned around to take another kid to their first day at college. Um, with being at the new place, they are not acclimated to their surroundings yet. And Jasmine was really nervous about driving from our new house to the school. So I told her I would bring her the first day. So now I'm sitting here and waiting until her class is over and then I can go home for the day. Well, I will still have to pick up Joe at work later tonight, but that's not till 10 o'clock. So I'll have a, an hour and a half or so off and hopefully I need to do some editing on a video. So that's probably what I'll do in the meantime. So sorry that this, this day kind of turned into not very much to share with you guys. <laughs> but that's just kind of the way it turned out. I hope you guys had a fabulous day. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, with it being just a whole bunch of little random things put together. <laughs> Um, but as things I wanted, I recorded and I wanted to be able to share it with you. So I thought this was a good way to do it. So I would love to know what you think down in the comments and until my next video, hope you guys are safe and well. Bye now.